What's going on guys? Chicken Timber Outdoors and today we're going to talk about what makes the best flies for winter trout fishing. So here we go. It is winter. You are fishing in freezing or near freezing or very below freezing temperatures where you're fighting ice and you want to know what it is that you need to do when you're thinking about you know selecting flies for this time of the year. Now for the majority of us when we're talking about trout in winter time we're talking about temperatures that would cease the hatching of most mayflies and caddisflies. Uh, stoneflies depending on the variety but most of the time yes they cease as well. Uh, leaving us with very few options. There are a couple selections that you can go ahead and try and find and we're going to kind of go over those a little bit right now. So the first thing that I usually suggest is all year round fish will find and come across hatching coronamids or midges. <clears throat> now most of the year you're going to be able to find midges in the water and most streams as well. And midges and coronamids are very small so that's why when people say downsize it's usually because uh, they're searching for these insects that are less, uh, you know, maybe less, you know, smaller size, but they're bountiful, and they're the only hatching insects usually that you're going to get in winter. Now, up north here, we have uh, a variety of stonefly. It's a very small black stonefly that hatches in winter as well, and when they do, it's prolific, but for the most part, you imitate it with the same flies you would for imitating coronamids and midges. Now for winter, when the water temperatures are very cold, I like to throw red and sometimes pink uh, or orange or a combination of them uh, with some flash and without flash, and usually it gets the job done. One thing you're going to have to remember though too is that when you throw these things in winter, you're going to have to probably get closer to the fish, uh, not with your body but with the fly. Fish aren't as willing to move for such a small morsel of food. Some of my favorite flies to imitate coronamids obviously are zebra midges. Uh, in a variety of colors. You can also use very small jujubatus. Uh, you can use very small, typically whenever you're talking about hare's ears and things, you're looking at, uh, t you know, they're a little bulky, so I'd avoid anything with dubbing or fur, uh, except for maybe a small collar, but you can definitely fish uh, different uh, biot style flies, you can fish different jig hook style flies, like you don't have flies, like Lance Egan has a few, um, like uh, like a rainbow warrior is a great midge imitation, uh, but carry a variety in your box, you know, sizes ranging from a 26 to an 18. You'd be surprised how big some of these uh, midge style patterns can be and still catch fish in the winter time. Now if you're not going to throw and imitate a, uh, a, a midge or a coronamid uh, or something similar to that, then you might be starting to look into fishing for bait fish style flies. You can still throw streamers in winter, but you're really going to have to hit the fish on the nose with the fly in order for them to really commit. Uh, you're going to have to perturb that fish probably into striking. They're not searching for food as often. Uh, well, I say that, but up here in the north where it's very cold, the water gets very cold, uh, you're going to probably need to really hit the fish on the nose, but you might instigate some bigger strikes that way. Uh, some fly colors that I like to throw to imitate bait fish, uh, you can do white and red. You can do an all white and all black like a woolly bugger works too. But again, I would also downsize the fly. I'm not saying go very like very small, but you know, uh, maybe a size six or four, sometimes a size eight streamer can get the job done in the winter if it really hits that, that fish in the nose. Or perturbs the fish in a way or frequently to not spook it, but instead push it to attack the subject or the, the imitated bait fish. <clears throat> I would probably, I mean in the winter here for steelhead we can also skate dry flies but it's a rare, it's a rarity that you're going to find that uh, elsewhere but if you're going to fish dry flies think of f fishing skated dry flies that uh, imitate generic topwater insects and or creatures. Uh, you know very very shallow water you can throw very tiny mice um, but for the most part, you're going to stick to either coronamids, midges, uh, or some form of bait fish. Uh, or it can imitate a craw as well, or, you know, 
a general purpose fly like a woolly bugger does a good job. Um, image, er, uh, experiment with colors. In the, if, the, if the water's a little warmer, you can get away with more natural or darker colors. Purples, dark purples, and blues sometimes works then too, uh, up here. But as, as the water gets really cold, I'll either go to a white and red, or as far as streamers go, or a red, pink, or orange uh, when it comes to chronomids and midges. And I'll oftentimes throw a natural color in with those to have contrast. If I throw them by themselves, they might get overlooked, but if I throw it in a, in a, uh, a rig with naturally colored flies, oftentimes that contrasting color gets hit. Hopefully this video helps. Uh, I know it's one of those things where not everybody wants to get out in the winter, but you can catch some great fish in, in uncrowded streams during the winter because if it's legal in your area uh, because, well, nobody wants to fish. It's too cold for some people, but not for us. We're warriors, right? So hopefully this video was informative. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the videos in the playlist. And until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side. Tight lines, and we're out.